Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna either love me or hate me, but you're gonna get like a glitter girl extravaganza. Massive amounts of videos from me about glitter girls. Hold on real quick, I'm gonna move you. That didn't even help. So yeah, I'm actually wearing a dress, but you know, I'm gonna look the same in all the videos because I am not that bougie. I don't care to change my clothes just to show you that it's another day when it's actually the same day. Who's got time for that? So I opened up this Glitter Girls because I really wanted to show you without having to struggle on camera and I was just kind of tired of waiting. So this Glitter Girls was 19 bucks on Target. Both dolls were $19 on sale, originally $27. This is Ducky and I absolutely love her. The other one is coming tomorrow and I'm okay with it. Actually, I'm not. I'm kind of annoyed, but it is what it is. So this is Ducky and how she came. Let me just tie her shoe. Oh God, how am I going to do this? It's going to be ridiculous to try to tie this. Okay, so she's beautiful. She came in pigtails and I brushed her hair out so that, because um, I just like their hair down. But look at, she's beautiful. Hair is super soft. It's like this teal with little bits of, I don't know, yellows and greens. And it's so, so pretty. I love her. The only thing is, is that she's got a very hard plastic body. I'm going to work and finesse and finagle her so that she looks amazing. Um, I do have some undergarments coming for her because she didn't come with any and she needs some. I love the socks. I love the shoes. I love everything about her. The only thing that I don't like is a very, very hard plastic body. However, I think I can make it work if I put her in layers, uh, layers of clothing to minimize the, the plasticky look of her. I absolutely love her. I'm telling you, I love her. She's soft bodied right here and right here. And she's very, very poseable. Like she could sit, she can move her arms really well. She does have, she doesn't have any neck articulation. So when you photograph her, you know, the only thing she could do is move her head side to side. I, I can't believe that I waited so long to get this. Her clothes are a little ill fitting, but like I said, I'm going to make her look spectacular. I know I can do it. Um, she's worth it. I don't know what her name is going to be, but look at her eyes. She is so pretty. She does have a mark on her face, but I don't care. I'd rather me get an imperfect doll than a child. And the child might really not like her or appreciate her because of the hard body. I just think she is so stunning. I don't know what I'm going to name her yet. I think that the clothes are going to fit her a little better once I put undergarments on her. I ordered some, I ordered some dolly panties. So I think that'll fit better once she's got something underneath here to make her clothes fit a little tighter. Um, I do have a tank top that I could put underneath this because I have a whole bunch of clothes. So I just, I love her. I, I know I can make it work. I'm, I just think she's perfect. I just absolutely, if I can make the American girl body work, I can make this work. Um, the American girl body has just looks so weird and funky in some of the clothes because it's got this weird lineage up here where you could see all kinds of, yeah, American girl dolls. I do have a little bit of problem with the way that they're, they, the lines show. So if I can make that work, I can make anything work. So this one came in a different box, a very skinny box. And it is Glitter Girls Nixie. I don't know anything about her. I've never seen her in store. Um, let me get my scissors. Oh, okay. I'm so excited for this. I'm really disappointed that the one that I ordered is going to take so long to come. Um, I don't know how long. I'm not sure. Disappointed, to say the least. But, you know, it'll come eventually. Amazon is good. They usually don't make me wait. So, they, I like the way this is... Oh, my God. I like the way this is packaged better. Ah, the stuff fell out. Oh. Before I get into this, they always give you some hair care tips. 
And then all of her accessories fell. Um, her accessories are still in the box. I'm just going to kind of show you like this. They're just hair accessories. Um, do you have a brush, a really cute pink brush? You have some bows and a lot of sticks and some barrettes. And I just don't feel like taking it out right now. I've been filming a lot. And so let's get her out. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for her. I really like the way she came packaged better. She came packaged in such an easier to open. This one was easy to open too. You just snipped off some ties, some plastic ties. But this one, I mean, my God, just taking a doll out of a bag. Oh, that's so much easier. Oh, how I got her hair not to be this crazy was I just sprayed it with my good old water and a little bit of uh, leave-in conditioner and it fixed the hair right up. Oh my God. Her clothes fit better. Her clothes right off the bat fit better. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. <gasps> Look at her. Her clothes right off the bat fit so much better. She looks way better in her clothes than that one. Oh my gosh, does she have underwear? No, she does not have underwear. No underwear. Oh my gosh, though. Unicorn pastel blue shorts with strawberries, cupcakes, and donuts, and a dream shirt. Wow. I have to say that the clothes that I bought feel a lot better than the ones that they come in. So I guess you would say this is their meat outfit, but I think that their clothes that I bought, the fashion packs that I bought, really are better quality than what they are wearing out of the box. I really think so. Um, wow. And look at how they, they part the hair like this, but I'm gonna show you kind of a trick. I'm going to get my brush, whatever it is. And these are by our generation, so I'm just gonna spray it. You don't even need to spray it a lot. And I'm just gonna brush it so that you can get kind of, and the rooting's pretty good. You know, the rooting's pretty good. I'm just gonna try and brush it so that you can kind of get rid of the part. Just kind of floof it up a little bit. And then, yeah, I think that looks really good. Kind of, you see how I did that? So, already looks better. I can do it better off camera, but I mean, it already looks better. Oh yeah. Kind of fluff it up, kind of smooth it out a little bit with your fingers. They say not to use product on their hair. I use a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Maybe it's not that good for their hair. I don't know, but I do it. Um, and I think it really makes a difference to lay it down better than just using water. So, let me see if I can get that. Let's face it, you're not really going to see. I'm going to kind of shake it out. There you go. There's your hair. A couple seconds and it's really nice. And I will do it a little bit better off camera. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to pierce their ears. I'm going to have to find baby piercings for them. Baby uh, earrings. I might have some. I don't know. She is beautiful. I love her. Her eyes are like a, they're brown. Her eyes are brown. Her eyes are brown. They're beautiful. Look at how beautiful she is. I love her. I absolutely think she is stunning. Um, she's got a pretty good rooting. I mean, it's not like, you know, that's more of her. Yeah. She's got a pretty good rooting. You know, I'm not going to complain about it too much. Um, I always complain about Rainbow High's rooting, but she's got a pretty good rooting. It's thick. It's nice. I love what she's wearing. I love these socks. Look at these socks, these pink socks with the little um, floofy thing and the shoes and everything. It's so adorable. Oh my God, she's so cute. She's so cute. I love rainbow colored dolls. Okay, so she's going to lay on my bed, get her hair kind of flattened, and then we're going to open up this. And I am going to show you a sweater that I bought just for giggles, because I did buy a sweater off of Amazon, and I don't know what this is. I 
don't know what these are. Oh, for a headband. Oh, how cute is this? You could design your own headband. This is adorable. Oh, I want to do this. I want to put this here. I don't have little kid hands, so it's harder for me. And I want to put... Oh my gosh, look. That is so cute. And then she comes with this little purple... Um... This needs to be like... Yeah, this is cute. Oh, this is cute. Let's just put this. Kind of like that. Brush it. That's going to need some work. Let's just face it, we're probably never going to use this. Yeah, probably not happening. Uh, yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> I like this. I wonder if there's a way I could remove the hair and just like, I don't know. <laughs> I like the ribbon. I like the hair bow. I just don't like this. Mm. Okay. Well, the more that I play with it, the more that it kind of gets better. So I don't know. Mm. Okay. We do have these. These are really cute. I like these a lot. They match the socks. These are cute. These are really cute. I like those. So we have one in, well, they're both the same. I thought they were different. I don't know. My brain. Okay. And then we have a brush. I don't like this brush. I don't like yellow. The pink brush that I have is cuter. But it's a nice wire brush, I have to say. Nice wire brush. Okay. So cool, cool, cool. That is it for that. Let me show you the sweater that I got. I really want to show you the sweater that I got. This is what I'm wearing right now. I'm just wearing like a baby doll dress. If you ever want to see my fashions of the day, you can go on. Let me see if I could show you. You can go on cute days. I'm like, what are you? What can you go on? See, it's just a baby doll dress. It's really cute. I have a sweater on because I'm cold and I don't like the way it looks on camera when I'm just sitting here because it, it the blouse tends to go lower and lower as I'm sitting here and moving and grooving and it can show a lot of cleavage. So not about that life. So I got this Bella Poku Elegant Retro. Um, super excited for this. I love anything retro and kawaii. So it's kind of like a, I just dress cute core. Cute core basically. And so it looks like this. Is this an extra large? I don't know. I don't know what the size is on this. This looks big. I'm not sure what size this is. Hmm. It should be a large. It should be a large. And it just looks like this. So this will look really cute over my dresses. It's very vintage. And um, I think it'll look really, really cute. It's got this nice collar. It's breathable. So I could still wear this in the summer. Yeah, I wear stuff like this in the summer. And I just love it so much. It's got this, you know, cute little sleeves. And um, I really like this. Let me try this on real quick. It is a perfect fit. It's gonna look so cute with skirts and dresses and all of that good stuff. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I got a blue one and a pink one. So yay for that. Oh, I love that. That is so cute. So this is one of my absolute favorite brands to buy if you ever want really cute little cover-ups. Um, and the tag makes me feel so elegant. This was $19, which I think is a really good price because vintage clothes like this can run anywhere. It was actually $19.99. Um, but vintage clothes can run anywhere between $35 to $40. So I think getting this for like, 
you know, $19.99 is a really good deal because it's really, really thick. It has a really cute design. I love this so much. I think it's a really um, nice staple piece to have in your collection. So I'm going to change my clothes. I'm going to take my earrings off. Um, I think these are like $1.50 off Romwe. Yeah, these are really cute. I love these earrings. So they just look like that. So I've really, really been trying to um, dress better and look cuter. I feel like I have to try harder now with my hair being this short. Whereas before, I didn't try that hard. One, because it was the pandemic and I was busy and it was kid life. But two, I feel like I could just... I dress up a lot more and I I changed my whole style. I didn't change my whole style. I, I don't have a style. I have a cute core, which is very... um. I don't go for labels. I'm not cottage core. I'm not, you know... um pastel goth. I'm not any of those things. I just dress kind of like, I don't know, the way maybe Zoe Dashnell used to dress. Um, kind of like that. A vintage kawaii. You know, I have my very own unique style. I have a very unique, different kind of style. And um, I'm very eclectic when it comes to the things that I wear. I don't always stick to one thing. I, I do like black t-shirts and jeans, you know, for a really easy going around town look. The way that I dress now is very comfortable. What I'm wearing today is very, very comfortable. It's leggings and just like a little baby doll dress. And so I really changed a lot of my style because of my hair. It made me feel neater and classier. So I felt like, you know what, now I can actually look the part of, you know, be a little bit more chic, a little bit more sophisticated because not that I dress sophisticated or chic, but just, um, I don't have my hair up in a ponytail all the time. So it's really easy for me just to brush my hair and put my makeup on. And I don't look frumpy or dumpy. I feel like when I see some of the videos of my hair down, I don't think I look good with, with long hair. I don't. I think I'm the type of person that's lazy when it comes to getting ready and taking care of themselves. Um, that by the time, you know, I would do my hair... I would just always stick my hair up in a ponytail because it was like the easiest thing to do. Now I can literally just let my hair dry naturally out of the shower, put my makeup on, and I'm done. And I'm, and it's the easiest, simplest way to um, take care of myself because I always put my makeup on, but it used to take me like an hour to get ready, and I don't have a, I don't have the time to take an hour to get ready. So now that I have this haircut, it takes me like. 15, 20 minutes, that's doable. Because 20 minutes, they can be on the iPad. And I just, you know, come out of the shower, my hair is wet, I brush it a little bit, maybe blow dry it, put on my makeup, and I'm done. I'm done in like 15 to 20 minutes. And I'm not slapping my hair up in a ponytail, and I just, to me, look, you know, frumpy and dumpy because I'm just slapping it up in a ponytail. So, I love you guys to read this piece and beyond. I hope that kind of explains, like, why all of a sudden I'm really I've always been into fashion I love fashion but it just got to the point where my hair was just always up in a ponytail I just looked horrible and I think I just look better like this I really do I mean not right now not right now I don't look that great but I'm sick and I can't wear eye makeup um because my eyes are all jacked but I don't know it's kind of the evolution of what happens so I love you guys so so much and I will talk to you later and I'm gonna play with my dolls because I love them